Yo, what's going on guys? My name is, of course, Jad, and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to be making cinematic shots for your thumbnails and Fortnite montages. If you guys do enjoy the video, please do hit the like button, make sure to subscribe, and turn on post notifications to not miss a single upload that I post. So let's enjoy the video. So to start off, if you want to go into your career, you want to go to replays and load up one of your best replays you've got recently, and try and find the perfect part in the replay that you want to have as your thumbnail. Okay, so let's say I'm going to be using this image right here. I've gone into the game, I've found the point where I want to use the image, and I've gone to drone free camera, meaning you can move around freely around the character while it's on pause, and you can see every single angle and every single aspect of the map. So uh, I can view every single part that I need. The main thing you want to do first is obviously turn up all of your settings to as high as they go. So I'm going to have to change all of mine to epic and click apply so you can get the best detail in the thumbnail. And then you want to find your favourite position of the character. So I'm going to be using something just like this. And I'm going to be using Photoshop to be able to manipulate the image to make it look even better. So you can use the pre-camera edits in Fortnite that they already have. So the auto exposure, the aperture, the focal length and the autofocus. We can be messing with them. But if, we, if you don't want to, you don't have to. But I do prefer to sometimes because you can get a very nice blur that you won't be able to capture. So we've got our image right here. As you can see, it is perfect. I think that looks absolutely amazing. If we're going to use that for a thumbnail nail and uh, we can edit this little thing out right here so it looks like she's just falling but what we want to do is you want to screenshot that and you want to take it over to photoshop once you're in photoshop you obviously want to paste that layer straight into your file so you want to click Control v to paste in the image as you can see right here there is the screenshot we just took in fortnite and now it is in our photoshop so we can use this tool over here named Spot Healing Tool. This brush is absolutely amazing for removing blemishes, little parts of the things that you don't want in there, and it will just replace it with the background. So basically what it does is it captures the background and uses that to manipulate the front of it, and it will kind of cover up the other parts. So if we want to cover up our FPS counter here, we cover that up, we literally click, and bang, it, it copies bits of the background, places it over it, and it makes it look like it wasn't even there. So I'm going to do that with this little bit here as well, and nobody would even know that that was there. So as you can see, we've got a very, very, very clean character model in the middle of the blue sky. So I think that looks very, very good if we were to use this for a thumbnail. You want to enhance these by using the image, adjustments, brightness and contrast. Brightness and contrast is a very, very key uh, enhancement. The main reason is because it just brings out the shadows. It cut it. It makes it brighter, it, obviously the shadows go darker, it, the colours go darker and some of the colours go brighter, meaning it just basically pops off a bit more and it makes that bit more appealing. You want to go to image again and then adjustments and levels. Levels brings out like the darkness in the in the darker colours, so if you have a really dark blue, it will make that more of like a, a shiny blue or it will make it more darker, more midnight. So as you can see, when I did do that, it kind of added more depth into it, so it, uh, it makes it that much more appealing again and then the last edit you want to do is you want to do image adjustments and curves curves is kind of the same as levels but you just have to mess around and find what's best for you it kind of adjusts everything at once and finds the best lighting for each thing so you want to find the best curve in it and that will make your image look amazing so as you can see here, this is the enhanced image that I made. This could be done for a thumbnail. You can either go to filter, you can do blur, and you can do Gaussian blur. And you can blur it if you were to add text to make it look a little bit more cinematic. So I would do that if I'm overlaying some text over it. I would usually blur the background. So I think that looks absolutely amazing. If you guys did enjoy this video, please do hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe. Turn on post notifications like I said at the start of the video to make sure you never miss an upload that I do post. Thank you guys for watching. My name has been, of course, Jad. Goodbye.